Now, once the prototype has been uh, debugged on the host, that would be the one on the left, it needs to be converted to the FPGA target format, and that's what I'm showing on the right. What I'd like to illustrate here is the similarities and differences between the two. Now back on the host VI, I was using the pass-through FPGA technique. And this is my model of the manage two-digit display sub-VI that ultimately drives the FP FPGA lines for the display. This is the way it actually looks for the sub-VI that will operate on the FPGA target. Here we see that it's actually connecting to the FPGA I.O. Everything else, of course, is identical. So it's a very small modification between those two. Let me compare another pair of VIs. The first is the prototype of my sub-VI called Show Hex on Display, and then the version that actually operates on the FPGA target. All right, my prototype is on the left side, and that accepts the unsigned 8-bit integer as does the FP FPGA version. And here we have everything necessary to ultimately generate the 16-bit pattern, which is connected by the global variable. And here we see the exact same structure being reflected all the way out to the global variable. So in this case, no modifications at all were required.